We challenged that in court because the government did not hold a proper fair consultation because we had supplied evidence to it, for example, that the government didn't look at. The government's position in court was they didn't need to look at it because it wasn't a consultation. What then came out in court was because it wasn't a proper consultation, the ministerial statement didn't carry any weight. The judge actually said to the barrister for the Secretary of State that you're passing the burden on to local authorities, are you, to um, determine whether fracking, for example, is a um, problem in terms of its climate change impact. The government's position has always been, well, actually, fracking is a bridge fuel to a low carbon economy. I mean, that's an idea that's been debunked over and over and over, but they're still sticking to that story. And as our legal uh, team said, you, the government can't have it both ways. They either have to go back and do a proper public consultation, look at the evidence, which we will obviously add to and anyone else can feed into, or the written ministerial statement carries no weight and councils can decide for themselves. In the UK, I think the only example that we've had of a proper consultation has happened in Scotland. And they come out and said, we don't want it. And England's now surrounded by countries that have made that decision. Irish Republic, Northern Ireland, Wales, Scotland, France, Germany. It's only little England and the Conservative Party that are now isolated are still supporting this ridiculous, polluting industry.